Hey guys, Brian from Liquid Concepts here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about painting. Um, had a customer come in and they wanted a splash pattern done. And so uh, we looked around at a lot of the splash patterns and uh, we pretty much saw that what the customer wanted wasn't what was on the market for the hydrographic. So I um, wanted to kind of shoot a quick video, kind of give you all an idea sometimes even in the hydrographics industry, if you don't have the film that the customer wants, you can still do what they want with the paint. It's just kind of using your creativity and uh, you know figuring out a certain way that you can do it. Now, of course, camouflage patterns going to be a lot harder. But in this case, uh, the customer wanted splash patterns, so uh, a little bit easier to do with the paint. And uh, I think overall it turned out pretty good. So kind of wanted to give a quick uh, run through of what all did and also kind of give you all an idea of some samples that we also did as well. Um, what we got here is we got two, uh, two base colors. Uh, one here is black. Uh, then we also got the other one here, which is the red. Um, and then we also got just a normal white speed shape. Y'all can kind of see the table. It's all uh, dotted everywhere with everything. But um, uh, essentially, what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have the white base and then we're going to have a red splash and a black splash. Uh, in this case, the customer wanted a red and black splash with a white base coat. Of course, there's not really one on the market right now that has those exact colors. We probably could have done with the candy and had a couple of other colors, but um, they didn't really want that. So in this case, uh, instead of doing the hydrographics, we just went ahead and did all paint. And uh, I think overall the customer would be very happy with it. So. Um, kind of get started here. Uh, we've got some different uh, straws that we've uh, bought. You can buy these at a dollar store or Fred's or Walmart or whatever. Um, I actually happen to like the ones that have the, uh, the, the twistable top on it. They seem to work really well and I'll go into that here a little bit later. Um, but essentially what we want to do is, as far as a splash pattern goes, we want to take uh, get a table set up to where we kind of have room to actually literally just spray paint everywhere. Um, one thing is, is on the straws, uh, you can also get like a syringe or a turkey baser or something like that, something with a, a pretty small uh, hole in it to where you can suck it out and then hold it up to it and then just shoot it. Probably be a little bit better with a syringe uh, in most cases, but in this case, we don't have a syringe handy, so we're just gonna be using these straws here. So. Um, kind of give you an idea on that, and then we'll kind of get started on this and uh, see what we can try to create with, um, with this different shape here. Uh, one thing to realize is that the closer you are to the part, the more you're going to get a big blob or a blotch of paint, versus the further back you are, you're going to get more of just a splatter. So depending on what the customer wants, you can change the effects. And so you can kind of see here, um, we've got a lot of this stuff on the table and uh, we'll get started here and kind of give you an idea on this. So uh, normally what you want to do is you just want to suck up just a little bit into the straw, hold it, and then just like that, blow into it and it'll blow it all onto it. Now, like I said, closer you are, the more you're gonna get a blot, a blob of film. Further back you are, you're just gonna get kind of, you know, spits and spurts, so. All right, so we got our first one here. We kind of see, got it more splashing out that way. Got a little bit of some, you know, bigger areas right in there. What we can do is just kind of go ahead and hit that like that. What that'll do is make it kind of run a little bit more. Now, we'll take this right here, get our other straw, kind of mix this up a little bit. All right, so kind of see I was a little bit closer. We got a lot more concentrated in one area, and then now we got a little bit of a, you know, misting like that. Um, so let's take this, you can kind of see we're pretty, bare on that back side there so let's take it and turn it around this time we're going to be a little bit further back and uh, see if we can't try to hit it again all right so now you can kind 
of see. We got just a few little drops on that. Kind of maybe make those ruin just a little bit. The neat, the neat thing about this is, is especially with the splash pattern, there's not a real rhyme or reason or the way that it should look or anything like that. Unlike the hydrographics, there's a certain way it's got to look. So with this, it's kind of neat and, and it's really cool because you get a custom one-off look that you'll never be able to replicate again. Um, you know, with the hydrographics, you can do a lot with it, but there's always a repeating pattern somewhere in the middle. You can change it up with the candies and different colored base coats and things like that, but it's always the same pattern. But there's something like this right here, it's always really neat because you get a, a totally different effect every time. So the other thing that is kind of nice is that um, to, to kind of give it more of an edge, you can layer it. And so by doing that, instead of doing all of your black and then all of your red, then it looks like all of your red is on top of your black. So what I like to do is I'll take and do different colors, if I'm doing different colors, and, and overlap them. So that way, red's over black on this side, black's over red on this other side. That way it makes it look um, a little bit more realistic and, and it gives it that depth and everything. So uh, we're gonna spray a little bit more black on this and uh, kind of go from there on it. All right, so you can kind of see here, we've got our black on the back over there. We've got the red on it. Looks like it's pretty nice little splash on it. We got some areas going this way. We got it going that way. Got some runs in it. I mean, it's just a very neat pattern, very neat, uh, you know, way of doing that. Now, um, what you want to do is you definitely want to make sure that that dries. A lot of the times with the thicker paints like that, you're gonna have to let them dry maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even an hour or so, depending on how thick that paint is whenever you got it shot on there. Um, with this stuff, we didn't over-reduce it or anything like that. We mixed it per the manufacturer's recommendations and uh, kind of went from there. Now, one thing that's kind of neat is that the customer actually requested that we do the bottom side of the helmet on the underbill area. Um, kind of presented a little bit of a problem because of course, if you hold that thing up, guess where your paint's going, right in. Um, wouldn't be so bad with a syringe, but it kind of makes it nice with these, uh, with these straws like this, because you can bend those just like that. And you can sit there, get it up and under it, and go just like that, blow it up, and of course, your paint only stays right there, it doesn't go all the way back in. So, like I said, um, something really neat to, to kind of see. Uh, a little bit different than the hydrographics, but it's still a very neat custom look that you don't see a lot of all the time. So uh, if you take a look here, you can kind of see some of the stuff that we've done, just kind of doing some samples. Uh, of course, you know, we've got this one right here, which we got more of a blob, more of a blotchy uh, painted look to it. it. has a lot of the red and the black, more of in, you know, uh, more concentrated areas. Uh, we went ahead and did more of kind of like a splatter, more of just, you know, little bitty dots and everything like that, and totally different look. And then, of course, you know, we did our helmet, which, of course, this doesn't have any clear coat on it, but you can kind of see we did a helmet here, got it all, got the back of it, got the sides and all that, and then you can also see, even on the underside of it, see the underside of that, we even got all of that in there. So. Um, really neat really neat thing to do um, so you know if you have a customer that walks in they want something different and you don't have it with the hydrographics there's always other options and just kind of goes to show you, you can still do a really neat image even by kind of going I guess you'd say an old school way of doing it and, and you get a totally custom look to it so um, you know definitely really neat design really cool um, you know, uh, like I said, you can use syringes, you can use straws, you can use just about anything like that. So, uh, give you a really neat custom look to it. So, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks.